Hey, what's up? It's Cute Time for our video. Today, we're rigging a Beatliner CXB 350 grams. This is from Wild. And we're gonna do this kind of different. And this guy just drops his jigs. Look at that. So, always check to see the jigs first and see if their eyes are straight. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna rig this. We are going to do something kind of fancy for a while. Alright, so I will prepare everything, but what we're gonna be doing is rigging this with single hooks. Okay, and as always, what we're gonna do is the uh, back hook is going to be longer than the front hook. Always. Okay, so that's something that we're gonna have to really emphasize when it comes to these things. Alright, so we are using marine black for this. And we're gonna be using two 60 CV1 hooks, black. And our thread is going to be black and our solid ring is also going to be black so that is something that we're gonna be doing now um first thing of course is oh by the way if you're new to the channel this channel talks about the hows and whys of fishing we cover everything from big game ultralight everything in the middle including fly fishing and today we're adding to our jig rigging library and I'm going to show you how to rig a deep liner CXB with two double well with two single hooks okay there we go so this is going to be cool the concept is and we're we're doing this on a light colored jig so the concept is everything except for the jig will be visible down there so this is kind of like stealth rigging okay now it's this 180 and it is pe cord which means we can take it off and then just put the uh Core, put the uh, the braid inside of it, the splice, if you may. So this is going to be the back hook, so it will be longer. Okay, there we go. Okay. So once we're actually rigging everything I can zoom in so you guys can see but for now I'm going to show you how to splice this okay we take the core off just this fluff fluffy stuff and then we take a solid ring okay We'll take a big one because YL kind of likes these uh, big solid rings. For me, I kind of like the smaller ones. But we'll take the big ones. That's what he likes. Okay, we take our rigging needle. Then we carefully, carefully, <laughs> okay, if you mess up like this, it's fine, don't worry, okay, just back it up, and then, Yeah.
you won't break the braid. It's just that this is kind of proving to be a bit challenging here. So I'm gonna try my other one actually, because it's proving to be a bit challenging. All right, we have spliced our uh, thing here. Now, what's crucial is for us to measure where this actually goes. Okay, so what we need to do now is make a knot. There we go. Make sure the knot is placed where you want it and then measure. Okay, that's too long. So the knot has to be adjusted. Just fine. Okay. Move the knot forward or up, actually, which is, and that should be it right there. So you have this there. And it should be where it should be. Yep. There we go. We tighten this. I use my teeth, but what you could also do is take a pair of pliers and then just pull it like that then, but it's just faster for me. Okay, so I get that tight and then just burn that so this knot doesn't move. It acts as a stopper. All right, now I'm going to bring you in so you'll see how I, I uh, bind things. Okay, like that. Okay. So make sure that this is actually flat. Okay. Right here, it's flat. Make sure that our wraps are very tight and if that happens don't worry okay it's good that that happened so that you guys can see You just cut this, make sure that the end is actually trouble free. There we go. Take the tag. Okay. Make a few wraps behind it. There we go. That is it. All you have to do is just cut the tags. Then make sure that you're binding them going forward like that. And that is it. And you'll get most of the fuzz on the way back. That's fine. Okay. There we go. As you can see, 
it is gone and it is integrated in there. Make sure to wrap tight. Here we go. Now, if there's fuzz, all you have to do is just run your lighter like that and everything's gone. Okay. Now, we do a pull test. Just to see if everything is tied on well. All right. <clears throat> that is not going anywhere. Now, here. Take our pliers and see exactly where it sits. And then we should be ready to tie on the front. Here we go. Nice. So the front will tie short. So they don't meet, and uh, that is it right there. So this jig, all right, again, this is the heavy part of the jig, so your hooks should be... Now, a little bit of an explanation here. So once this goes down, the hooks are pointing up. It should be like that, not like this. Okay, this is the right side up because when this jig goes down, this is your hooking position. Your shorter hook will be pointing out like this. And this is where most of the strikes will come from. So this hook should actually be pointing up, not down or sideways. Okay, so here's our uh, our rig. Okay, as you can see, there is a. Okay, let me let me see if I can actually. Uh, okay, there's a a knot there, and that's the end of the fluorocarbon core, which we have here. So after we spliced it, we put the fluorocarbon core. And that's to make this stiff. So, come back here. And we have our hook. Okay, now this is crucial because what we want is for this to sit perfectly. Okay, and we mark where this is at right here so it's there and our hook should end there okay okay we have right here so this is stiff and it's not going to snag our leader. There we go. All right, a little bit off, but once we tighten it, it should be perfect. So grab this right here. Pull as tight as you can. <clears throat> okay. And we cut it, burn the tip so that it locks everything in, make it nice and neat. There we go. Now we just need to tie it in. Okay. 
thread base first so that things don't slide around. This is very important. Touching turns so that things are neat. Go. Again, this should be flat. Okay, tight. And then spiral to the front to position everything centered and then your back wraps try to fill those gaps that you've missed if there are any on the way forward so it will be as smooth as possible. That's it for me. It's neat. And then lock in place. And then that. There we go. Now we can rig this onto the jig and see exactly how our positioning is. Go. There we go. Now let's see if they touch and they don't. There we go. You can see placement is perfect. There we go. So they may cross. Ouch. <laughs> ouch. 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 So they may, they may touch but they can't hook each other and that's just perfect all right so this basically lies flat here when you are the eye lies flat here and then this is going up and when it is going down this also points up and that is it look at that that looks that looks cool. So basically, the thought behind this is that all you see is just the light jig, okay? The hooks are black. The uh, assist cord, the rings, they're all black. So you, the fish, hopefully, won't see anything except for the jig, and that's how you fold them. All right, so anyway, uh, I hope you learned something. And uh, thanks so much for joining me on this rigging video. And um, if you have questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Like the video if uh, you like what you saw and if you learned something. But yeah, so that's it for now, for this video at least. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and class dismissed.